Tem quase que na folha Deve ter o whole name I, I can read it if I, I take the, the, the diagram, but I'm, I'm on a PDF right now, so I'll not see it. I, I have this diagram, okay? Um, let's see, when, when I publish the code, you also have this. But I'm just showing this. Sales uh, points, you see it. So it's just custom page. It is all these things here are processes, okay? So I have a process for starting a sale, uh, I have a process to uh, taking this, this receipt, you know, and I have a process for devolutions, yeah, I'm trying to bring, bring back the, the product and I'm going to give back the money or maybe I'm going to give back credits for him, okay, so receivement, um, custom page, list region, all, all receivable accounts, okay, so that, that's I'm not going to explain it in details okay behavior diagrams this is one maybe one behavior diagram okay, I'm showing this as a behavior diagram this is a structure diagram okay and they have user client seller uh, sysadmin, admin uh, clerk and manager and um, everything that the users do the sellers do everything that the client do as I do, so I can this, the client here is mapped, uh, is set as a user, the okay, seller is a user, the clerk is, the seller is the guy uh, attending to the client, and this guy is, uh, this guy here, uh, he also can, how to say, put products in the, in the um, sales chart, okay, but, uh, uh, how to say, if you have a store and you have the person that cannot take, uh, put them in hands in the money or something like this, so it will be this, this person here, will not be this person here, okay? So this guy initiates the sales and this guy finishes the sales, okay? And this is the, the thing that they can do, so log in, uh, create, you know? So that depending on the, the, uh, the part of the, the of your application that the person is, uh, the menu will be different and the options will be different, okay? Depending on the, the user type, the type of user, okay? I thought this way. Um, let's see, this is the query, okay, the query profile. App apply to a class, okay, I have class here, uh, it's a controller. Uh, it's in the, in the MVC package, so I have models. For the models, I'm going to gener generate uh, the databases. Uh, from views, I generate forms, okay, because of view maybe have more than one model, okay, and I have controller. The controller is uh, representing some kind of behavior, but it's not the behavior itself because the behavior is, um, you know, you have the business, you know. Uh, so uh, here is just asking things to the database, you know, exist where um, open today is open today is asking for example if exist uh, a cash register which I have opening value and not closing value for the actual date. So how do I represent this? I represent this here in this um, parameter. Okay, so I have this parameter here and this parameter. We have we'll be using the today we'll be using the new and not new for example to make this question to the database so I exist some exist cash register where um, it's closed no it's open it's not closed that have open value and have no closing value and um, Yes, the date and the date is today. Is the, you know, so is that's the question to ask if the cash register is open. If, and if it's open, you're going to, you know, make something. If it's not open, you're going to make something else. For example, not allow the user to do anything if the cash register is not open. For example, okay. So main behavior. That's that, that's the behavior for. These two buttons here, okay, the buttons which appear in the my main, 
sorry, I'm the boot. Ah, yes. The buttons that um um so if if the user clicks on this button, it will execute this thing here. This is another another state machine. Okay, login page another state machine. So login behavior is this one here, just after, yeah. So get valid token. Uh, if no, 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 no. Yes. Yeah, so if the token is no, will show this dialog here. Okay, this dialog will be associated with some view, which will ask for the user will be defined as the user name and password. Okay, as a view, and we're probably gonna be using the query profile to represent which kind of data is that. Okay, for example, the password. Um, maybe it have. Um, maybe it have. Let's see. I'm going to say this. Um, I'm sure. Maybe it have a checksum to it. Apply to it. Okay, so. Uh, this this model is for client and server, so mm, uh, my my intention intention is to make this choose the same model for the client and the server. <coughs> mm, let's see, let's see where I am. Ah, uh, here. Okay. So you will include this and this. Okay. So get a value token. It will be a function call, and it will be. Um, a function from a given um, controller. Okay, I, I, I call this controller. It's not the controller that you already know. It's a controller just here in, in my my model. It's not. Maybe you will not have this structure here when you convert. You know, in, in the Android application, maybe you will not have this. But I will still gonna ask to the database. You know. Database, the cache register, cache register data source. Uh, is it open today? Are you open today or something like this? Okay. <coughs> um, so I'm going to call this way, and then from from this, so this is in the database. You know, we already know that, right? We already know. So if uh, you open true. Um, get value token. Mm, okay, uh, I'll compare this token, this variable with null, null. Okay, if it's if it's null, I'm going to show the, this uh, dialog. Okay, you already know how it works, and then I'm going to. Uh, Present to the user this button. This button is part of this this diagram. So, uh, from my class diagram, I'm going to generate the dialog. Okay, and then from this behavior diagram, something like a behavior diagram, I'm going to generate uh, the button side or something like this. I'm going to generate this button here. Okay, and then this button, will, uh, when you click it, it will uh, how to say start this. Um, sequence of actions, okay. Um, yes, that's it. I, I, I've thought a lot in ways that I could make it happen, okay. And the, maybe the most difficult part was the database thing because the database, I mean, asking things to the database is uh, very important in this, in this uh, diagram here because you're going to go somewhere but you need variables here you need you know state and this state is not in this state machine is in the database so you need to ask the database um, how to say uh, about the, the actual state and then changing according to it okay, if, if this condition is true go to this direction if it's false go to this direction okay so I'm going to stop this video because it's some uh, 40 minutes. Okay, it's too long already. Okay, I hope I I think I'm 
a lot of you guys will not watch it to the end okay and that's it okay thank you for watching this video and i hope i am trying to be a brave person and publish this code publish this a uh, little manual here that i just showed you uh, i'm thinking for a long time if i publish or not and i still didn't do anything